Okay, Josh, I'm glad you came back in here and asked this question again because I didn't understand what you were looking for the first time. So let me show you. Um, I see what you got right here. And what I'm guessing you want is more like this here. So you want the three columns separated with space in between and then the uh, box shadow around the three columns themselves. So let's jump into the editor. And I suspect that right now this is what you're getting based upon the code that you have. And here's the code that you have essentially. And you're right, if you put in all this extra margin, it um, pushes one down to the next row, moves this one over. And of course, that's not gonna fix your problem either. Um, and it's because you're coming at it from the wrong angle. So let me show you how to fix this for reals. Uh, wait, in fact, I got to open that CSS back up and we need to comment this out first. So we will do that. And then I will show you what to do. Now you see here, the backgrounds are still white. And that's because what I did is I came into each one of these columns. So click columns up here at the top come down to column number one or first column, set the background to that as white. And then of course, scroll down and do that to the other two columns as well, setting each background to white. So now you got a ba white background on that column and they got the space built in between, which is native to click funnels. And then all you gotta do is go back into your CSS because if we stayed in here, um, you could do it right here. We come down here to columns, we go to first column, go to advanced and come over here and we can put in a 40% drop shadow. But that of course is not what you're looking for. So let's go into our CSS. And what we will do is we will take out that comment. And now you will see that the uh, shadow went around. So all I did was I said, you take the exact same thing you had down here with your three columns and you just put in the class of call inner after the id put in your box shadow and when you're done this is what you have looking like what i think you want so instead of the however many lines of code you did all you need is the one line of box shadow go into your columns set the background of the column to white and away you go so let me know if you got any questions